So it's a beautiful day out here in sunny Washington state. Um, we are today going to be putting in our shower membrane upstairs. So I'm gonna take you over here to the house and let you see what's going on. I got a little time while my first batch of uh, thin set is slagging. So let me turn you around. <laughs> Got the little chicks outside getting some, uh, we got some grass problems here. It's just not growing up yet. But this was all torn up for the septic tank to be put in. And we saved our, our beautiful little uh, lilac bush. But the chicks, they're out here <clears throat> having a good time in the sun, enjoying it. The house, a little dirty. We don't get much rain here. <clears throat> Let's come up on the porch and go in the house and see what's going on. Our construction zone. You can see the master bedroom is starting to come together. We got the steel on the ceiling. And uh, down here in the utility room, my lovely bride is scrubbing up the floor, getting it ready. We're gonna, we're gonna put some uh, sealer down and see what we think about it here on this floor. This is my utility wall. I've got my Fantech uh, heat exchanger. I've got my next gen boiler, electric boiler, and my cross manifold. And pretty soon I'll get all this connected. My water main, water heater is gonna be right there. Water softener is gonna be right there. Electric box, washer and dryer will be right there. Garage, garage door. Got the limit set on that today. And uh, all this will be in steel. And then this up here will be drywall. Let's come upstairs and take a look at uh, what we got going on up here. Listen to some skid row. So the steel is up in here. We got our uh, center section. Uh, a reverse ridge cap coming in to cover that. The bulkhead that we made to cover up the, the weird cross beam. Steel's in. And uh, just love the way the steel goes with that ship lap. And over here today, I'm about ready to set down my Schluter system. I've got everything cut. We're gonna go up to the wall, like I said in the last video right up to that line and the uh, shower stuff is in. Once I get my curdy membrane set and I get my drain on, I'm gonna do a flood test, make sure that it's water, uh, watertight. And I'm also gonna do a pressure test once I get the water heater and the boiler set in to make sure everything is good here before I put up the last wall board and uh, yeah, here's what we got. I'm gonna let you watch the process of laying the curdy. Hopefully it's not too horrible of a process. Let's go.
All right, so we got the we got the uh, curdy liner in, and uh, I'll we'll turn you around, and let you look at it. So I got all the curdy curdy liner in, and uh, that was a long day. We'll come back tomorrow and see how it see how it stayed. So we've got some I got some liner going up to there. Everything else is going to be red guard. It's going to be covered pretty good with uh, with two coats of red guard, possibly three coats. And like I said, I'm going to put some uh, hydro band. I'm going to put a hydro band board right there. It'd be a lot easier for me to cut around my shower fixture, and and uh, it'll be a little easier to put in, a lot less messy. And then uh, we'll tape up the seams, tape up those seams. And it should be should be waterproof. We'll flood te test this probably uh, Saturday, and uh, we'll pressure test the the water tomorrow. We're going to put in the water heater and the water softener, and uh, everything looks it looks like it's coming in pretty good. There's no air bubbles that I could find. It feels fairly smooth. I think once we put the uh, mastic for the tile down, it should be all right. So give our channel a like, um, or give our channel a subscribe, and give this video a like, and uh, follow along what we're doing. You can really get a good look of the ceiling here. Gosh, it looks so good. I really like the way that turned out. And this uh, shiplap right here, this shiplap really looks good. And we're gonna do that all the way down I'm going to cover all of the trusses in shiplap and the ceiling is going to be this white steel liner. So our life has gone to shed. Give us a subscribe. Have a good day.